that easy. Haley Marquette teaches special education at West Elementary. In less than 10 seconds, she can deploy this safe room inside her classroom. I like to leave it out. It's more functional for me. I use this for um, instructional space with writing. My kids love to free draw on this side. You can see here there's no handle on the outside. So in the event of an emergency, a teacher or administrator is able to close the door and lock it so the students are kept safely inside. An idea sparked after the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas. The goal of the ballistic wall unit is to shield the entire classroom until law enforcement can do their job. Then we open the door, we go home. That's the key. We get to go home. Everybody wants their loved ones to come home. Another threat the walls can help with severe weather. It's my expectation the, kids, the schools keep their children safe. Uh, it is a priority in all of our schools. If it's access entry to buildings, if it's cameras, if it's school resource officers, which we're fortunate to have all of those. The conversation with lawmakers is already happening as education leaders look for ways to put this type of protection in other classrooms, in other schools, and in other cities across the state. Every campus is different. They have multiple entrances. Some are uh, right on the street, some are out in the country. Uh, sometimes there's a police officer on duty. Sometimes there's a deputy sheriff 20 or 30 minutes away. So there's no one size fits all solution. As for Mrs. Marquette's classroom, it's been really good so far. The kids love it. And that's the most important thing is making it a safe space for them. In Coleman, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.